hello welcome to my kitchen today we are making coconut biscuits also known as polo yes it is one of my favorite snacks okay anything with coconuts count me in okay obviously we need some coconuts so we are going to take the coconut the food from its shells okay so after doing that i'm just going to wash it thoroughly i actually washed it twice just to make sure that it is clean okay so guys if you are taking the coconut food out of its shells make sure you do it carefully else you may hurt yourself with the knife or even the shell Okay guys, so for this recipe, you don't need just any kind of coconut, you need the hard one. You know we have soft coconut and also the hard coconut, yeah. You need the hard one, then you grate it, you have to grate it before you're able to use it for this recipe. And as you can see here, I'm measuring my coconut, the grated coconut, okay. Because I need to measure to know the quantity of flour I'm using, because if I'm using let's say 4 cups of flour, for this recipe i need four cups of coconut for this recipe so yeah fortunately yes or coincidentally i'm using four cups of flour yes and also four cups of coconut guys i love to use this type of nutmeg because it brings out the authentic and the original nutmeg flavor to all my pastries i do not prefer the already made ones like the powdered ones in a sachet and all that i prefer this one because i get that authentic flavor and it makes my pastries smell heavenly so guys for four cups of flour i used one cup of sugar because i i love it that way but if you have a sweet tooth you can maybe use one cup of sugar for three cups of flour but i think four cups is to one cup it's perfect okay yes and also about the water you don't need a lot of water for this because you need it to be hard and not too soft okay so i went through the hassle to know the exact quantity of water you need for your four cups of um polo mixture okay so you need just one cup of water for the four cups of polo the rest of the ingredients don't worry i'm going to leave it in the description so you can check it out okay so you know already coconut has some oil in it so i didn't think it was necessary to add margarine to it okay and besides i'm still going to fry it anyways so i feel when you add the margarine to it and all that like your polo is going to be soft or it's going to be soggy okay so it's time to mold it into the shape that i want okay so to prevent it from being sticky you need some flour in your palms on the table or the tabletop or the surface that you're going to work on and also even on the rolling pin as well okay to prevent it from sticking wherever it finds itself <laughs> so i'm just going to roll it and then cut it into the shapes that i want okay this is very simple i'm only going to do this and repeat the process until everything is well shaped or molded okay guys so this is the original shape of polo in ghana this is how it's cut in ghana so first of all you cut it vertically okay you divide it vertically then you cut it diagonally across diagonally to get that shape that you want the beautiful shape that you want okay so oh well you can choose not to do it that way and then cut it anyhow you want but then this is the original shape that you need to cut your polo into <laughs> So guys as you can see everything is ready and it's time to fry okay we are going to deep fry this one if you shallow fry it it's going to be soggy as well so you have to deep fry so to test whether your oil is ready for your pastry you can use a skewer to test it or any wooden material okay it could be a wooden spatula 
to test it when you put it in the oil you see bubbles okay okay guys so the polo pieces are dense okay so immediately you drop it in the oil you have to use your skewer to lift it from the bottom of the pan until it starts to float on the surface of the oil okay else the part that is facing or the part that gets to the bottom of the pan will get burnt i hope you understand and also guys whenever you are frying anything you have to make sure that when you are taking it out of the oil it is a shade lighter than what you prefer okay because as it cools it's going to turn brown so you don't have to wait for it to get to the color you desire until you take it out of the oil i hope you get it yeah so basically that is it that's how polo it's made very simple wow just look at this beauty are they not beautiful wow i feel like a proud mom right now <laughs> See my babies oh my god just look at the inside i can even see the coconut flakes wow guys it's yummy so delicious okay i was so happy with the outcome yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video see you in my next video but don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also share this video so others can also watch this recipe and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't see you in my next video bye